Hello, Green Lawn family. I pray you're having a great Monday. You know, this past winter, I made the decision to grow my beard out. In fact, it got about as long as it's ever gotten in my lifetime. Then a few weeks ago, I made the decision to trim it back some. Well, I accidentally trimmed it back a lot more than just some. <laughs> I trimmed it back a lot. In fact, when my family saw me, it was almost, it was almost jarring for them. It's amazing how a few displaced whiskers can change your facial appearance. It really was a transformation. You know, um, the Bible is full of stories of transformation. When people come into contact with God, they go away changed. One of my favorite stories like that is found in Acts chapter 9. In fact, in Acts 9 verse 1, we read, Meanwhile, Saul was breathing out murderous threats against the Lord's disciples. He went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus, so that if he found any there who belonged to the way, whether men or women, he might take them as prisoners to Jerusalem. Something amazing happens in this, in this chapter. Because by the time we get to verse 20 in Acts chapter 9, Saul, who was an enemy of the Lord's people, is preaching the name of Jesus. What an incredible transformation. What an incredible change. What happened? Saul encountered Jesus Christ. Saul encountered the risen Savior. Saul met Jesus, our Lord, and it changed his life. It changed his identity, and it changed his purpose for living. This Easter week, as we have these daily video devotionals, we want to try to help you and ourselves prepare our hearts and minds for Easter Sunday. And this is my message of encouragement to you today. We serve a risen Savior. And our risen Savior, Jesus Christ, still has the power to transform lives today. Maybe there's someone in your life, they don't know Jesus. Maybe they need his transforming power in their life. I pray you have an opportunity to witness to them, to tell them the story of Jesus and that good news. Jesus also has the power to transform those of us who are Christians. Maybe like Saul, we've become zealous for the wrong things. And we need to be reoriented. We need to fix our focus and our zeal on Jesus Christ and what he's called us to do, to make disciples. So I, I, I pray that you remember that we serve a risen Savior. And that risen Savior, because he is truly God's son, has the power today to transform lives. Isn't that good news that we serve a risen Savior? Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this day. I pray that you bless everyone in the Greenlawn family and, and, and friends who may be watching and listening these videos uh, around the, the country and even around the world. Father, please bless us all with health. Uh, Father, bless those who may be uh, sick uh, with, with rapid recovery. Father, we pray for our medical uh, professionals. Father, for doctors, for, for nurses, for uh, EMTs. Father, bless those in the medical profession and, and, and be with them. Father, we pray that this, uh, this whole episode of, of COVID-19 uh, comes to a quick end. So, Father, that we can get back to being with one another and, and living our lives together. Father, we thank you uh, that you, beyond the shadow of a doubt, revealed your son Jesus through the empty tomb. And so, Father, we celebrate that today. Father, may we celebrate that empty tomb every day. And, Father, we're thankful that we serve a risen Savior, and that Savior has the power to transform lives. God, may our, our life today be a praise before you. It's in the name of Jesus we offer this prayer. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.